welcome back to the Weekly Buzz, everybody. I'm Chris Knight from the Counseling Center. We got a couple special guests for you. We got Joe Wesley Borders, Rush Hour running back, DC on my mind. Jay Red, the OG host. Welcome back, Jay Red, for homecoming. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be back. So we are at Justin F. Caressel Stadium. You can see we're getting ready for homecoming here, 2024. We, uh, the Defiance Yellow Jackets are going to usher in Manchester. Ready for an exciting game? Yeah, I mean, we're on a two-game win streak, but we want to keep it that way. We have won the last two games of this rivalry. I didn't realize it's the third longest rivalry that we have. It's been going around for almost 100 years, I think, is what I read. That's pretty amazing. It's a long time. It's a long, long That's time long we've been time. playing in football. That's a very long time at that. All right, so you you have been here, you have lived this rivalry a little bit. Tell us about it, Jay Red. What was it like playing in this game? Uh, I think the game is always kind of intense because DC and Manchester are always like doubted teams. So it's like always a little underdog. That's always the underdog. So it's like who's really the worst team? You know what I mean? Even though <laughs> with DC, we don't look. Who's at the worst? Like, no, it's just like who's the best? But that's how they look at it, like. All that's right. I know from the conference, they're saying Manchester's bad. They're saying DC bad. So when we face each other, it's like okay. we got to change that narrative. Right. That's going to exactly. be who's the best here. Exactly. Yeah. So it's always, it's always intense. It's always a lot of smack talk. All right. I remember it was pretty intense the last couple of years. It has been an intense rivalry. Yeah. I don't expect anything different today. The last. So, what can we expect, you Wesley, from the team today? What, what's it looking like? You've been out of practice. You're a current player. What's it been like? I'm going to put this in the easiest way I can possible. We are going to go out and dominate today. You're going to go out and dominate. Yeah. You're calling it. I'm calling it. It's simple. We've, worked, we've been working hard this whole week. We've been waiting on the resort that we've been wanting. We're going to go out and get it today. All right, what can we expect? It's been a passing attack for the most part. Offensively, what should we expect today? We're going we're gonna to be on the ground a lot today. On the ground? Who's yeah. going to be carrying the ball? Who, who should we look for? Tote in the rock. Cam, um, Cameron Turner, Coop, um, Cooper Sloan. And Cam, and, Cam and Coop, huh? Cam all right. Coop and um, Jeremy, Jeremy Brown. All right, all right. What can we expect through the air? Um, who should you be looking out for over yeah, there? Yeah, who should we be looking at in the air? Um, Jalen Warren. Jelani's been hot. He was yeah. one of the conference players of the week two weeks ago. Yeah. Kind of a rough start last week. Jelani Warren. Jalen Warren, Juan Rome, um, Chris. You're a little bit familiar with Juan, huh? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Played good. with him last year? Yeah, he's an explosive receiver. You good. I believe he needs to get as many touches as he can, whether it's slants, mm -hmm. no routes, he's going he's to catch him. He going to be returning for us today, too? Juan's going to be a little doing a little he's gonna be He's going to be on kickoff and fire. All right, yeah, so. So be looking out on on offense for Juan Rome. Yes, sir. All right, you heard it here first. Big game for Juan. Big game. Big game for sure. All right. All right. So the Defiance Yellow Jackets coming in this year, it has been a little bit of a tough start. It's one and three as we kind of head into NAIA play. Um, and not much different for Manchester, right? I think they are, are they 0 and 3 so far? Yeah. It's been a rough road for them. Yeah. So it is time for us to right the ship against Manchester. Oh, yeah, for sure. Run that yeah, winning streak four. to three. I went for it. All right. How is it being back, Jay Red? First time back? First game back? Well, I did go to the out-of-town game in Indiana. And okay. I out for a little bit, but this is my first time home. A lot, lot of memories coming back for home. A lot, a lot of memories seeing some of my old teammates. It's just the atmosphere. And I think homecoming is where a lot of alumni come. Kind of weird. I feel like an now old you're head. an alumni. <laughs> you are a graduate last year. I feel like an old head. Now. So tell it. What have you been up to the last couple months since you graduated? Man, I've just been getting more involved with the community. I've been going to church, helping out kids. I've been nice, keeping fit, working out, and I'm planning on starting Christian counseling here soon. And right. So you are living the dream. You are living what you said you always wanted to do. I always what I said I wanted to do. That is fantastic. Yeah, it's going good. So, and for the, for those of you that are maybe new to the show, you were a host last year. You kind of helped us start this whole podcast off. And you're also a football player. How many years were you a captain on the team? Since I since I got here, almost. I mean, it I took me so. it took me a minute I freshman year, so. but once they say I was starting, then yeah, I automatically you wore the big C out there as you were the safety. Yeah, for sure. 
So how are we looking defensively today? Defensively, um, we're going to go out and we're going to shut out. We're going to show them out. Um, expect a lot of three and outs. Expect a lot of, you know, big hits. Expect a lot of... Manchester's a team that likes to run the ball a lot, so they'll probably be on the ground a lot too, but it's nothing we haven't quite seen in the last few years from yep. them. Um, okay. They do have a lot of true freshmen this year playing, like almost their whole entire defense is freshmen. Oh, my. Um, for better so, or worse? For better or worse, we'll just have to see what happens. But I don't wish the worst on no team, but I'm always wish the best. <laughs> we're going out and we're going to win this game. Who's the defensive leaders this year? I know Cody Johnson. He's, Cody been, he's yeah. played a pretty big part. Who else can we expect some big things from? Cody Johnson, E. Um, you can expect um, Pope. our corner, yeah, Pope, Pope, Pope. Jerry. Rich is, Rich is back on the lawn. All right, we also got DeMonte, right? What's the secondary look like? The secondary. Your old got, home, right, Jalen? Right. Used to rule the secondary. Now you rule the sideline. Now I rule the sideline, but I do plan on keeping these guys motivated on the sideline until we get them on some pointers. Nice. So I would say secondary-wise, um, our two safeties, we have two safeties right now that are two, um, that are two freshmen. They'll be, going, they'll be coming in and out of a rotation today. Um, our two corners is Jerry and Justice and Quez. Um, they're going to come out today and show out as well. Um, Jerry's a transfer from UND, so big crowds like this doesn't really, you know, shock him. He's going to come out and do his thing always. So. Nice. Nice. Then for Quez and Jerry, they already know what it is. They know what they need to do. So they're gonna go. Our our secondary, all all. I mean, overall, will go out and show what they got today. We're looking forward to it. All right, predictions yet? What what are you guys are thinking for the final it's score today? It's gonna be a shutout. They ain't, they ain't scoring no. Guys. No score. Yeah, defense is gonna pitch a shutout. Yeah. That is asking for big things. It's been a rough going for the defense so far. They go. Are you pre you're predicting the shutout? I'm predicting. What, the shutout. What's the what's the score? You gotta give us a score. If we put we put like fifty some high fifties on them last year, right? Ooh. We put last year's score. It was high scoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah last yeah. year the score was fifty six twenty five. All right. So this year, I'm gonna say the score is gonna be about forty eight nothing. Bold, bold prediction. Forty eight zip. I don't know. That's pretty. That's pretty bold. Yeah. I, I'm just going based off what our score is looking like. I, I'm gonna give it. 28, 28 7. I'll give Manchester a touchdown. 28 7. All right, 28 7. Look, all right. I'm going to hold off on my prediction until a little bit later on. We're going to hit the pause button. We're going to get some interviews. So just hold one second, guys. We'll be back. Yep. You ready? Okay, welcome back to Weekly Buzz. And we're here with Jaina Sloan, Cooper Sloan, Twelve, okay. number 23, running back, eSports, golf, and a whole bunch of other stuff. We heard you were the best tailgate mom. We are the best tailgate, and everybody needs to come and support these boys and come and tailgate. We have food, drinks, and it's all free. Just all right. show up. What is your specialty? What is the favorite? What which uh, favorite food? Shrimp oil is the favorite. Ooh, shrimp oil yep. for tailgate. You are up in the game. We're trying. No hot dogs or hamburgers here. <laughs> and what do you think? The, um, how do you think the game's gonna go? It should go good today, as long as our O line can make that hole, and our defense, our defense will stop the line today. What do you think the score will be? Ooh, uh, we're going to go 42-12. You got a special message for Coop? Love you, bud. Bring it. Don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we back on the weekly buzz. We got some um, visitors today. You got a son out here playing tonight? Yeah, number 66, Matt. Matthew Gear. Matthew. Who is it? Matthew Gear. Big Matt? Okay. How about you? You got a son out here tonight? I'm Matt Gary's mom. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get that. We got to get that. We got to get one of them. Yeah, we got to get one of them. Yeah. Big Matt. We okay, love okay. very supportive parents. We love that here. Yeah, what do you expect the score to be tonight? The score needs to be 44-7. to 7 Hey, Chris, now you heard that, right? 44-7. Let's get it. I didn't yeah. give them that, but you, you on my side because I told them they weren't going to score at all. So. Oh. Yeah, I said they wasn't going to score at all either. It got to be a blowout game. Please let it be a blowout game. This is my first time here. So. You got a special message for Matt? Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> now you hear me? Go Matt, Matt! <laughs> hey, words from Mama. Um, all right. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. For sure. 
What's your name, bro? Jaden. My name is Jerry. Oh, it's my show. I'm the host. Can you tell him I'm the main host now? I don't tell know him what I'm the main host. This is my show. Welcome back to the Weekly Buzz, and we have a recruit here, and we're going to ask you, how is your experience going? Actually, introduce yourself first. Um, I, I think the school is very nice. You know, the athletic indoor facility is nice. Um, when did you guys make that? Um, the indoor facility? Yeah. It's been there for a minute. It's been there for a minute, but we just um actually renovated the weight room, the team weight room. Yeah, I've seen that. That's that what happened last year. So um, the coaches took a lot of time out and actually put their heart and blood, sweat, and tears into that um, weight room. So it's pretty cool. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Jaden Colby, and I'm from Leslie. Mitchell. And what position do you want to play in college? Either wide receiver or safety. So how do you think the game is going to go? It'll probably be a close game. I, th I think you guys will win. Nah, I'm not going to lie to it you. It better brother. be a blowout. It's going to be a blowout. <laughs> Let me put it to you this way, and this is me throwing a shot. Manchester has only won four games in the last four years. Okay, so yeah, that should tell you something. Yeah, yeah. I've never I've never heard of Manchester before. Hey, my, point is, my point is proven, Chris. No, Nobody has heard, heard, of, heard of, of Manchester. Come on. Let's go. They are irrelevant to this program. Very irrelevant. Welcome back to the Week of Buzz, and today we have Coach Barnett. And what do you have planned for the game today? Um, we are, we have all of our cheers learned, all of our dances learned, and we are throwing out a hundred footballs during the game today to win free Marco's Pizza with Pepper Shop. Great. And what do you think the game's going to go today? Oh, it is in our favor. What do you think the score is going to be? Let me go 36-7. Gave the other okay, team, but we said zero. zero. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a little bit of hope. Just a little. I'll give him a little bit. All right. All right, welcome back to the weekly buzz. I'm back here with uh, Dominique Williams. Dominique. Dom's one of the DBs here for us. Um, we've been talking about what we think the score is gonna be tonight and how we gonna dominate. So go ahead and tell Chris now how we gonna dominate this game tonight. No, I don't really want to feel cocky or anything, but you know. I got my brothers over any team in the conference, you know, any team in the conference, any team in the NIAA, you know. Uh, I really feel like this could be a blog game. This could be a real get back game for us, you know. That tells you what type of energy we bring it to the table. They're going to let it run. What do you think the score is going to be tonight? I can't really call the score. I just know it's going to be a good game, but I hope we're winning by at least 21 because I want to see all my guys play today. Where am I from? Um, I'm from Muskegon, Michigan, but uh, I'm a transfer from Olivet College. All right, appreciate you, bro. All right, thank you. Sure. Thank you. All right, we're back on the Weekly Buzz today, and we have a very, very, very special guest today. Who am I here with today, sir? Well, my name is Kirk Me, and I'm... Uh, from Southern Ohio, down by Oxford, Dartown. I went to Wilmington College, undergraduate, Ohio University graduate. Then I came to Defiance College as the head football coach. Well, actually, head baseball coach, assistant football. My, after my first year, I became the head coach. And then I was head coach here for three years. So when you were here, sir, you said you guys went undefeated 9-0, and you also coached Ben Davis and the person who was named after the Smart Center, George um, jo George Smart. So how was it like coaching all those kids, and how was it like winning every game and being ranked number 10 in the nation? What was that last part? How was it, what was the feeling like being ranked number 10th in the nation when you were 9-0? Well, we didn't know that until after the season. Um, it was great. Uh, they only had one undefeated team before that in the history of the school, and, and uh, after we were undefeated in 1966, I, I had some really good players on offense and defense, and one of, them, of which was Ben Davis, which is going to retire his number today, number 48. And, I just seen uh, that on the um. Yeah. Yeah. And then George Smart was my quarterback, and. He donated the field house, paid for that. And he, he, built, he had another building that he paid for at Defiance College. And he's my quarterback. And then I had uh, Jose Arleano. He was the one and only first team All-American in the history of Defiance College. So 
So what are um, some of your best memories as a head coach of Defiance College? Well, in 1966, probably one of the better memories. We we went down and we went down and beat an undefeated Georgetown College in Kentucky, and that and they were good. They were ranked they were ranked tenth, and we knocked them off, 26 to six, and uh, that was a big win. When we won that game, that, was, that made us 4-0. We got past them, then we had a chance to go the rest of the way. The next to the last game of the season, we played Taylor University, and they were really a good team. But we had a gigantic snowstorm the night before. They had snow on the sidelines stacked up that high. We actually played, the students actually came out and shoveled the snow off the field so we could play the game. And uh, 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 we won the game um, nine to seven. That was the toughest game because they were good, plus the elements. The weather was terrible. And uh, uh, it ended up being a slugfest, but we squeaked it out. We squeaked it out. And that was our only. That was our only close game of the year. You coach college ball. You coached here, you coached at the University of Wisconsin, and then you went to the Redskins. What was your experience like with the Washington Redskins? It was great, because when I was at the Washington Redskins, uh, we were in four Super Bowls, we won three. Well, I just want to say, go ahead, go ahead. Kate. I have a question for you. What do you hope to see in today's game? Well, naturally, you hope some way, somehow, they'll win. That's why it's interesting to come here to see what kind of formations they run, what kind of how they run the ball, how they pass the ball, their formation, and what Manchester does in their in the football scheme. I just want to say thank you for okay. coming on the show for us. This is a really great opportunity. Um, I didn't know who you were at first until somebody told me a couple of days ago that you were Kirk Meme, so I was like, this is a big deal, and if I can find him today, I want to get him. So I appreciate your time. Thank you. Shelby is from Monrovia, Indiana. Thank you for coming to Weekly Buzz, and that's all we have for you today. See you next time. See you next time. Hunter is from Farmington, Arkansas.